The iStatus COVID-19 antigen test is simple to perform and accurate. To make sure the test works correctly, please carefully read the instructions for use or the package insert included with the test kit. This video will walk you through each step and provide a visual cue on how to perform the iStatus COVID-19 antigen test. The test cartridge will determine your result. The control line and or the test line will appear at the end of the test. Remember, the iStatus COVID-19 antigen test is for single use only. Once you conduct the test, it cannot be reused. Results should be read within 15 minutes and no more than 30 minutes. The test requires four main steps, setup, collecting a nasal sample, adding the sample to the solution, and reading the results. The kit comes with a test cartridge, a nasal swab, a buffer vial, a buffer vial cap, a vial holder, a package insert, and a quick reference guide. In addition to the test kit, a timer, a biohazard waste disposal unit, and personal protective equipment such as gloves and a lab coat are required but are not provided with the test kits. You will need the vial holder from the kit during the test, so have it ready. We recommend wearing disposable gloves while handling the kit reagents or specimens. Change gloves and wash hands thoroughly after performing a test. Test setup. Gather the materials required to perform the test. Allow the iStatus COVID-19 antigen test to come to operating temperature before use. Please refer to the quality control section of the package insert to determine when to run the test controls. Unpack the components from the pouch kit and lay them out on the table in front of you. Next, remove the test cartridge from its packaging and lay it flat on the table. Tear off the foil seal of the buffer vial and place the buffer vial into the vial holder. Nasal sample insertion. Please note that freshly collected samples should be processed immediately after collection. Remove the test swab from the sterile packaging and avoid touching the soft end with your hand. Gently insert the swab no more than 3 quarter inches or 2 centimeters into the left nostril. Then slowly rotate the swab at least 5 times in a circular path for 15 seconds. Once complete, carefully remove from the left nostril. Next, place the swab directly into the right nostril, repeating the process of rotating at least 5 times in a circular path for 15 seconds. Carefully remove the swab from the right nostril. Please refer to Public Health Guidelines or Public Health Guidelines for Anterior Nasal Swab Specimen Collection if you have questions during the sample collection. Test Procedure After Nasal Sample Collection Place the swab into the buffer vial and rotate to stir the swab vigorously at least five times. Further rotate to stir the swab another five times while squeezing the sides of the buffer vial. Next, while squeezing the side of the vial, rotate the swab to release the liquid and then remove the swab. Discard the swab after use. For more details, please check the safety precautions section of the package insert. Insert the buffer vial cap containing the sample and push firmly to close onto the vial until the cap is tightly secured. While holding the top of the vial with one hand, flick the bottom of the vial with your other hand to thoroughly mix the solution. Slowly turn the vial upside down, pinch the vial, and add three drops to the sample well on the test cartridge. It is okay if the first drop contains bubbles. This will not affect the test results. Start the timer. The test results can be read in 15 minutes and should not be read after 30 minutes or more have elapsed. Interpretation of results. The result is negative if the test cartridge shows only the control line. This means that the virus that causes COVID-19 was not found in the sample. The control and test lines may appear red or purple. The result is positive if both the control line and the test line are present. This means that the virus that causes COVID-19 was found in the sample. If the test result is positive, it's important that confirmatory testing is conducted immediately and the patient follows self-isolation guidelines. The test result is invalid if no control line is present. This is true even if the test line is present without a control line. The control line must appear to indicate the test was performed correctly. After the test, please dispose of the test carefully in the trash as per the safe handling guidelines. Please note, the test kit is not suitable for recycling. 
For more information, please visit us at www.istatus.com.